I've always seen music as like a sixth sense because I, I find that I can, can communicate through it. If I, if I ever get angry, I can vent myself in a, in a sort of angry piece. If I feel sad, I can vent my sadness out in a sad song. I feel music is a huge part in the community. I feel it's an actual extension on the, the senses of a human being. I mean, it's, it's something that I, I feel everyone should be aware of and should explore inside themselves as much as they can. this way. This is my new domain. As of the last weekend, there's still a lot of planning and construction to be done, but it's getting there. I've got the main things that I need up and running at the moment, so please come in and make yourself comfy. My real name's Ian, however I go by my stage name is Fox and Moore. I'm basically a full-time musician and my style is new age music. <laughs> The most important part of the studio, obviously, is uh, my keyboard, the Roland Phantom X8. I've had it for a couple of years now. Uh, not only do I use the, the on-built sounds for it, including the, the piano. I also use it as a MIDI controller board for a vast number of my sound libraries that are available on the computer. This is the main workstation here, which you can see is Cubase SX3. This is where I do all my planning, all my recordings, all my note taking and all my hair pulling. Okay, moving on to the keyboard again. This is uh, some of the sounds that I tend to use quite a lot. Obviously the main one is the, the piano that you can get on the Roland Phantom X8. Of course you can have the opposite end of the spectrum which is something maybe very loud, something rock bass. I've actually got an entire expansion based on the strings, it's called Symphonic Strings, which you can pick up from Roland. I can quickly load up Rock Kit 2. And got some nice expression at guitars. And then we have one of my favourite sections which is the, the ethnic pitched section. A lot of my work does involve ethnic instruments so this is a quite an essential tool for me. The good thing about a lot of these instruments is they have different layers so if you do it nice and softly you've got a nice soft something a bit louder and more dangerous, hit it harder. A number of synthesizer sounds that I can use on this as well. But here's one of them that I created. Flat minor, Highlands, Hot Dog, Keyboards, Hibernian, Lord of the Rings, Hans Zimmer, Steinway, MySpace, Faulty Towers, Batman, I can't read it, <laughs> Half Empty, Mario, Summer, Chocolate, Star Trek, <laughs> oh the Beatles, PC, Ninja, just. <laughs> I've played piano for roughly 
oh, 19 years. I started when I was five years old, learning on my grandmother's upright piano, which I still have in the house, actually. Every time I travelled to my grand's when I was five years old, I started playing the piano, and they would have to shout up at me and tell me, come on, we're leaving, we're leaving, and I'm like, no, I just want to play, I want to play another five minutes. Most recently, I joined a band called The Get Back Band, uh, which is a Paul McCartney Beatles tribute act. Um, I've toured all over the world with them. Fox and Moore is basically revolving around my obsession with foxes. Because my real surname is Armour, and Armour is apparently an extension of the word love that comes from France and Italy, uh, I changed it to Amour, so put Fox Amour in front of it and you've essentially got Fox Love. Now Mask was a little bit different because all of the, the musical mass is based on characters, themes, commissions, based on like people, basically. It's effectively a collection of stories. Originally Mask was designed as a compilation album, and it, it still is pretty much a compilation album, but it's based on the same theme that it's it's themes for people. I also got a referral to work for Nintendo through a programmer on a website that I share my music on. The producer came to me and said, look, we're looking for a, you know, a couple of tracks here and there in the, the mini games. Uh, would you be able to do it? And I said, yeah, of course. Now, these, these tracks were completely different from the style that I usually write in. They were very, very, very jumpy, bouncy, almost circus-like. When I have to write to a certain thing, there's always more pressure because you're, li you, you're having to to live up to someone's expectations, basically. When you're writing something yourself, you don't have to, you're only living up to your own expectations, which I personally find easier. So it was a bigger challenge. I got lots of information, and it made my job a heck of a lot easier. But uh, overall, I would say, um, when you're composing work for someone else, and not yourself, then I, I would personally find it a bigger challenge. <laughs> My only advice is to enjoy it. Don't do it as a chore. Don't do it as something you feel you have to do to, to try and get good. You know, music is, for me is something that just, it's just something I enjoy. It was never like a job or an occupation originally. That came a little bit later when, you know, I got experience. But for anyone who wants to, you know, to, to take music seriously and get to a very, very, very high level, the, the first thing that you have to do is enjoy it. I mean, I, I try not to look into the future and see what I'm doing. I just kind of live for the now, work on the now, and what, if I'm still doing the same thing in five, year time, five years' time, so be it. If I'm away touring on Mars or something, so be it as well, you know. <laughs>